it's cruise day I'm getting ready to check out it's about 10 30 now I woke up at 7 45 ish thought I'd go for a run as I got down to the very bottom of the hill right by the water I could see the ship so I took a lot of pictures and then did a run two miles and then walked um, a little ways back it was really nice it's a beautiful day here I don't know if you can tell this is the little balcony I'm on the second floor at the Casablanca Hotel it's a nice place um, I've enjoyed my stay here. The bed was a little hard. Pillows were a little hard. <laughs> um, but overall, great stay. Had a great night last night. If you didn't catch my video from yesterday, um, I went and explored San Juan and really enjoyed my day. Because Virgin Voyages does not do early boarding like all the other cruise lines, I have to wait to go to the port or the pier until uh, 1.30. And I do have the loyalty status, which is their um, virgin's uh, version of loyalty called Deep Blue Extras. And what that means is I have priority boarding and some other perks like a free premium Wi-Fi, free laundry, extra bar tab. But the early boarding is definitely a perk. So earliest time you can board or at least time that you can show up um, and get in line to board is 1.30. This port in particular is a little bit disorganized and messy from what I've heard. So I wanna get there a little bit early um, to see if I can figure things out. I have to check out at 11, so I've only got about 20 or 30 more minutes in this room. The hotel will hold my bags for me, so I've not eaten yet. I did go for a run and I'm starving. So I'm gonna find a spot to do that and see what happens. I am off. sea terrace which is what virgin voyages calls a balcony all right so i was like one of the very very first people to board after rock stars so i just got lucky in that i was like right at the front of the line um for the people who had either deep blue extras which is the loyalty program or splash of romance which is an upcharge you can purchase um, which includes things like spa treatments or spa discounts candies I think and priority boarding so I have always gotten priority boarding because I have the deep blue extras but they did make us wait in the the terminal area until 145 and they called all of us and luckily I was sitting like right in the front row <laughs> right at the very end and so I was able to go right up and check in immediately but look at this view and the best thing about Virgin Voyages is the hammock. I'll be spending many an hour in this thing. I'm ready to get this cruise started. So I think I'm going to start by going down to the dock and trying to get a seat there. I already have my swimsuit on. I wore it underneath my clothes so that I would be ready to go. And because this is pretty much a sold out sailing, I have a feeling it's going to be harder to find a seat than the last time was I was on this ship when it wasn't sold out. So why don't I do a little cabin tour now and then I'll hop downstairs. Okay guys, so this is the entrance and you've got hanging storage here and some shelving and then some drawer shelves or drawer containers then in here you have a safe pretty good sized safe i think that actually will fit my laptop hair dryer and then a whole bunch of drawer storage which i really like 
uh, life vest up here, floor length mirror, and that is not the only floor length mirror that they have in the cabin. And then we can do the bathroom. So you've got some cloths there. They provide a bar of soap. Your sink, shower. Now the shower has both the rainfall head and the handheld. And then they also provide body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, which is great because a lot of cruise lines do the combo shampoo and conditioner, which I'm not a fan of. And toilet, and that's it. So it's pretty small, but for one person, for me, it's perfectly fine. Coming back out into the room, you've got pre-filled water, which I love that they do this. I don't even have to worry about purchasing water ahead of time. I always bring a reusable water bottle with me and something that Virgin does really well is they have refillable water stations all over the ship and I'll capture some of that so I can pop some footage in there. Got our mini fridge, which I'm gonna put my waters in the fridge because I like them to be cold. And you've got some cups here, your little squid and a corkscrew. This corkscrew is um, for, it's like a wine opener corkscrew. It's purchasable, so it's $25. It says there on the thing, you can use that. Um, you can take that home if you want and they'll just charge you for it. Tablet. Tablet is really cool. You can do a lot of things with it. It's locked right now because I need to watch the safety video first, uh, but you can control the lights, music, watch TV with it, videos, movies, things like that. But a pretty wide screen TV here. King size bed with the most comfortable soft blanket that I love. Wish I could bring one home. Put a storage there on the side. This can split into two. The configuration is a little bit funky. It splits into two and you have one bed this way and then this one turns to the side and it is L-shaped. So that's how the separated beds would be. And you got a little tray here and of course the balcony. See me in the full length mirror there. I missed this chair. <laughs> and another full length mirror. I think that's it. I'm gonna take the stairs from deck 12 down to deck eight, get my exercise in. short blasts and one long blast. In a real emergency, this will be your alert to make your way to your assembly station, as shown in the back of your cabin. Hey guys, back in the cabin. I spent a lovely afternoon, just a couple of hours sitting out on the dock. Our departure time isn't until I think 8 or 8.30 p.m. So we actually have a ways to go or we have time until we leave. I went to uh, the I think it's called the social <laughs> I took videos of it uh, I'll pop it in here but I got a vegan hot dog which I was surprised to see that on the menu for some reason every other time I've gone on virgin I've forgotten to go get snacks from that place and it was really good they put some sort of like spicy mayo on there tomatoes and jalapenos it was spicy um, 
but really good. My dinner reservations, I think, are at 8.15, so now it's it's 4 o'clock. I'm not going to eat anything else for the rest of the day. I kind of had a late lunch, I guess, if you'd call that lunch. And my dinner reservations tonight are at Razzle Dazzle, which is sort of the veggie forward restaurant on board. The latest menus I've looked at, they've, they've really brought a lot more variety and meat dishes on the menu, whereas it used to be pretty heavily vegetarian and vegan, but I think they've changed it up and I'm excited to try the new menu. It's March and the last time I was on this ship, which was my last Virgin Cruise, was in June of last year. So it's been almost a year since I was on Virgin and I think they've changed up some menus, changed up the experience a little bit, so I'm excited to check it out and see what has changed and if there's anything new that's really tasty. Anyway, it's kind of crowded right now around the ship. There is a Facebook group meetup that I joined for this sailing. Now, I think it was planned at 4 p.m. up by the pool deck. Uh, it's called the Aquatic Club. I think it's right up one level above the pool. I think I might go check it out and just see if there's anybody there and try to meet some people and see what's going on. It's a beautiful day. So I just got my luggage delivered to the room. Um, so I think I'm just gonna hang up some stuff uh, so that the dresses I brought aren't crazy wrinkled and then I'll head upstairs. First come first serve. So technically anyone can grab these at any time. I'm just gonna hang out in one of these for a little while. The sun sort of went down, but Or it didn't go down, but went behind a cloud. But it's actually probably better that way because it's still really hot, <laughs> even without the sun directly shining on me. It's like there's just a little cloud right there. And it's a nice place. I think I'm just gonna hang out, maybe do a little editing. I need to get some work done um, in my videos. Otherwise, yeah, this is a great spot. Probably hard to tell on camera, but there's so many mountains in the background over there on the left. They're part of San Juan. And then in the distance over here, you can see the fort that I climbed up yesterday. And later in the trip, I will take you. If you look at the top of the ship over here, you can see the running path. Um, there's like a jogging track up there that I have used many times. In fact, I have used it many times and I've never gone to the actual gym and run on the treadmill in the gym, but I am hoping to try and do that on this trip because the last time I tried to log a running workout on that jogging track, I set it to outdoor. And as it turns out, it said I ran 11 miles in 30 minutes, which definitely didn't happen. <laughs> Uh, but it was because we were moving. It was a sea day, and so we were at sea, and the ship was sailing, and the ship was certainly moving. So it logged the ship's movement in addition to my running. All right, anyway, back to my seat. The sun's coming back out again. You can see right here is my little spot. Is here to bring some heat to your workout. He's just from outside here in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Can make some noise for Stephen the Balancer. Kiss like Stephen. Now some of you might be more of the creative type and you're looking to spend your time coloring inside and outside the lines. She comes all the way from Mexico. Please make some noise for Verena the Artist. To the Valiant Lady. Cheers everyone.
Here's the jack and track I mentioned earlier. Just taking some film of the places on the ship and local behind me. Every time I come on Virgin, I'm reminded just how much I really like their ships. I know some people don't and find them confusing, but personally, they're perfect for me. I just feel like there's enough space on here for everybody to spread out and find their spot. It never gets overly crowded um, anywhere. So there's just enough space for everybody to kind of go chill and do their own thing. Sunset. Right now the Virgin sign is a popular spot for photographs with the evening glow. The sunset is like the perfect lighting. So both sides have that and both sides are crowded <laughs> with people wanting to get pics. But I think I'm gonna head back to the cabin now and just um, hang out for a little bit. Already went to the sail away party and that was a lot of fun, even though we are still technically docked. We have not left yet, but I'm gonna go back to the cabin and hang out. My dinner reservation is in like an hour and a half at 8.15, it's 6.45 now. So take a little bit of time to chill, read, and get ready for dinner. And then off to, I think it's Razzle Dazzle tonight. So I will bring you along with me. While I'm up here, I'll just show you the back part of the galley. So this is all open seating for the galley, which is um, Virgin's version of the buffet, which is not really a buffet. It's sort of like a food hall. But there's a lot of outdoor seating here and great view out of the back of the ship. our view right now of San Juan and the net is directly above us. Good evening. All right, I am ready for dinner as you can see, uh, but I am in a rush because I just realized that I had originally planned to go down to the tattoo parlor and wait in line before it opened so I could get one of the later spots in the cruise and get an appointment for a tattoo. I know what I want. I've gotten a tattoo on every other Virgin cruise I've been on, so this is not my first rodeo, but I completely forgot. I just completely forgot that the opening time was 7 o'clock and I wanted to be down there before that. It's now 7.51. So I really hope that there are appointments available later on the cruise so I don't have to worry about it healing while I'm on the cruise. I'm gonna run down there right now because dinner's at 8.15, so that's where I'm headed. See you later.
coming to New York Stay up Okay, I just got back to the cabin. Uh, what did I do? So dinner, razzle dazzle. Wasn't the best dinner that I've had. I had a salad and a pasta dish and to be honest, I was pretty underwhelmed by both of them. Couldn't finish the pasta. It was, I don't know, it had like a strange texture and flavor to it. It was just okay. So a little disappointed in my dinner tonight, but you know what? It's okay, it's the first night. I have other restaurants booked for later this cruise, so probably gonna try something different the next time I go to Razzle Dazzle. I think I have it booked twice on this trip. I might change my reservation to something different. There wasn't a whole lot else in the menu I saw that looked super appealing or that I could eat because of my just dietary limitations and that I don't eat red meat or pork or anything like that. So not a whole lot of options that I could choose from. And that used to be <laughs> the opposite with Razzle Dazzle. Their menu was primarily vegetarian or e vegan menu items, but they've changed things up quite a bit. But anyway, after that, uh, I walked around for a little bit, caught some live music, grabbed some ice cream, that for dessert. Nothing really looked super appealing on the Razzle Dazzle dessert menu. Got some sugar-free vanilla, it was really tasty. And then I headed to the dock and I watched a little bit of um, the sail away, although by the time I was done with dinner, we had pretty much fully away. You could see the lights like way off in the distance. It's pretty much just the horizon at that point. But the cool thing about Virgin ships is that there's blue lights that light up the wake. So if you're at the very back of the ship, you can see the wake lit up blue and it's, it's pretty cool. So I sat out there for a little bit and had my ice cream and then went back inside to the dock house where they were having trivia and I didn't participate, um, but they had a bunch of people playing. So I sat and watched for a while and enjoyed that. It was entertaining and fun, totally different type of trivia than the other cruise lines. It's, it's not the traditional write down an answer on a piece of paper and then tally it up at the end. Just a different like style of trivia game. So it was fun. Right now I think the pajama party is going on. Obviously not dressed for the pajama party. I don't think I'm gonna go up to that because I didn't really bring any stylish PJs. Um, and I'm getting a little bit tired and I have an excursion tomorrow morning. So I think this is where I'm gonna call it a night. Oh, I was also able to get an appointment for a tattoo. Uh, unfortunately, all the slots on Friday, which is our only sea day, are booked and it's our second to last day of the cruise. Uh, or I guess it's our actual last day because we disembark on Saturday. But all the spots were booked on Friday, so I had to go with an earlier slot. I think I'm booked for double check. I think it's Tuesday night, but I did get a, an appointment there. I've already got my design, and of course I'll show you what I get. All in all, great first day. So happy to be back on Virgin Voyages. I really love this ship. I love the vibe, but everyone's in a great mood and everyone's chatty and talkative and friendly and so far, it's been great. So I think I'm gonna sign off here for now. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I will be bringing you lots more solo cruising content because this is what I love to do and I hope you find it enjoyable as much as I do. Um, so thanks so much for watching and have a great night. Happy cruising.